TV oh so hard to repeat in the evening to repeat I need you to do some things for me. Yes, ma'am. First, I need coffee. Decaf, two sugars with cream. Mess it up and it'll be your head. Yes. Next, bring this to Alice. Before my coffee, after my coffee. I really don't care. Just make sure she gets it before 10, 18, sharp. Yep. And make sure that Lucas character is doing his job. I caught him slacking off on his break. But what? If Lucas isn't paying attention during his break, someone could sneak in and kidnap Reed. If there's no Reed, there's no show. And if there's no show, we don't get paid. And if we don't get paid, then we're done for. Get it? Yes. Now go and get a note from Alice and bring it to me. She'll know what you're talking about. And if she doesn't, tell her she can see me about her job. Yes. Now go. It's 1018 already. Oh, excuse me. Hello, I'm Zora. I'm the hypnotist. I'm here for the tour. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I seem to find myself a little bit lost. Could you point me in the right direction? Yes, ma'am. Hello, I'm Zora. I'm the hypnotist. I'm here for the tour. Hi, I'm Alice, Reed's assistant. I'll be showing you around today. That's just terrific. Right this way. So, have you ever been on television before? No, I can't say I ever have. Seems to be a very popular fact. Oh, Mr. Pete, this is the hypnotist you'll be interviewing this evening. Oh, great. Nice to meet you. See you later. Have fun. He's a very busy man. There's so many things to keep track of on a variety show. Let me show you the rest of the studio. Most of the performers like to have ample time to warm up before they go on. Some of them are a bit fussy, like Eden here. I've never seen hair as blonde as yours before. Your eyes shine brighter than any star in the sky. I, I wish, wish I, I could be you. Oh my god, I love your shoes. Were they in like last month's Vogue? Mother! Oh. What is it? What do you need? Something wrong? Did you break a nail? How can I help? That one said my shoes were ugly. Which one? That, that one. That's not what I said. I didn't mean like that. I promise. That's not what I said at all. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Girls, go get the head. The head of Shane. Please, please. Not the head of Shane. <laughs> <laughs> now he's ugly. Now Eden looks even more beautiful. If that's possible. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Go wrong. 
What do you mean? This is great and the public love us. I don't know. What if it's a disaster? What if it's glory? What if it's a stinker? What if it's a rose? show. I'm Gertrude and I'll be entertaining you tonight. With a name like that, you have to be funny. Am I right? <laughs> so, I just flew in from Los Angeles and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> Did you ever wonder what the blanket said to the bed, huh? Don't worry, bed, I've got you covered. So, two muffins are in an oven. One muffin said to the other, boy, it's hot in here. The other muffin said, ah, a talking muffin. <laughs> well, folks, here he is. The reason, the person you've all been waiting for, Reed P. <laughs> How are you, Reed? I'm fine and dandy. Say, where are you from again, Gertie? Rome. I'm from Rome. How exotic. Rome, Kansas. Small town that Rome, Kansas? Yep. Say, did I hear you were married five times? Yep, the same man. He was the only one I could find. Well, is it a happy marriage? Oh, yes, we're a match made in heaven. We're just alike. Oh, really? How so? Well, both of us snore, neither of us can cook, and we don't know how to make the bed. It's a wonderful relationship. Sounds magical, Gertie. Well, I gotta step backstage and get ready for the show. Nice talking to you. Bye, talk to you later, Reed. Nice guy. Well, folks, I think you've heard me babble on long enough. Without further ado, I give you Reed in the evening with Reed P. Good evening, folks. He's yours, he's mine, he's ours. Here he is, America's number one television host, Reed P.
special guest on her show. Her name is Zora, and believe it or not, she's a hypnotist. Welcome to the show, Zora. Thank you, Reed. It's wonderful to be here. So tell me, Zora, why did you become a hypnotist? Well, when I was in college, I saw a lot of sad people. Everyone was so distressed over some situation in their life. I wanted to find a way to ease that pain. And the idea of hypnotism? Well, it came to me in a dream, actually. I was making someone feel better, and I was using hypnotism, so I thought I'd try it in real life. I didn't know it would take seven years of intense meditation and study. Sounds very spiritual. Oh, it is. So what is it that you can do with your hypnotism? Well, I, it's like a temporary cure for emotional ills. I can make sad people happy, angry people calm, and lonely people, well, less lonely. You can cure loneliness? Well, temporarily, yes. Yes, well, it seems that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Zora. You were enlightening. Thank you, Reed. Well, it's that time of the evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Time to listen to the sweet country scent of Kit and her junk band players. than a buffalo Cause rolling around the fields all day just ain't the way for me I'd rather be a bovine than a buffalo Safe in my pen where I've always been and I'm always fed by my farmer friend and that's the country way Out in a tumbleweed. Cause blowing around in the breeze all day just ain't the way for me. I'd rather be a cacti than a tumbleweed. Cause I really feel safe in my prickly place and I won't complain if it never ever rains. Cause I ain't gonna change. And that's the country.
miss being close to people. I don't want to feel this way anymore. Well, I'm still feeling a little cracked this never hurts. So look at me. Wait a minute. How do I know I'm not going to start quacking like a duck or suddenly become convinced I'm the queen of England? My work is in clues for dull things like party games. I access the part of your mind that's rarely used and give it suggestions. Now, shall we begin? Look at me. Trust me. Take a deep breath. Now repeat every word that is said. Now repeat every word that is said. I am surgeon. I need to accept that if I stop, I need to accept that if I stop. What I'm searching for will please be uh, orphans from here. You promised them you'd autograph their life magazines after the show, the ones with your face on the cover. Uh, Wait, no time, crazy lady. Let's let's go. No time, crazy lady. Let's go. Let's go. You should see downstairs. It's crawling with orphans. You should see downstairs. It's crawling with orphans. Whoops. <laughs> Mic'd up costume and done up with 
questions prepared to guess in less than half an hour. But no less, there's empty dressing room with you doors down. Go. Why me? Can someone else do it? Who do you expect me to choose? It's not like I can ask a ventriloquist to go out there and interview guests. Hi, I'm completely insane. How are you? <laughs> well, what about one of the candies? Hello. You want them out there? I just look at them and I can feel the ratings drop. Okay, now we only have two minutes. You, that stage, prepare to go get ready. What about you? How do I act? Perfect. You act.
Welcome back to Alice in the Evening. If you're just tuning in, while well, Reed is unable to be here, I, Alice, will be filling in for him. We've had such a great show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's been full of surprises. I can't believe we have such a great t group of cast here. Don't you think we have a talented bunch of performers here? Yes! But some of them don't get the thanks that, we, that they deserve. Fran, can you come here, please? What? what? You do it. This is Fran, ladies and gentlemen. And Fran's been working hard all day. I think she deserves a nap. Who else thinks she deserves a nap? You know what? I do. Fran, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Fran. Well, we are about to come to an end to our show. But first, here's a word from our sponsors. Are you tired of looking around your pricey, clunky, middle-aged vacuum around the house? Are you powerless to stop it from swallowing entire tables, chairs, and small pets in one sucking motion? Does the thought of picking up that dated piece of work make you distressed and irritated? I feel so stressed and irritated. Are you ready to be the most happening house in the block? I am ready to be the most happening house in the block. Then you're ready for the newest invention from Easy Breezy Sleazy Home Appliances, the vacuum. The back vacuum lets you be everything you've ever wanted to be and more. Hold a sleeping child while you vacuum. <laughs> do a crossword puzzle while you vacuum. Wash dishes, do a cr wash dishes, do while wa and hold a sleeping child while you vacuum. <sighs> Read a novel, do a crossword puzzle, hold a sleeping child, and do the dishes while you vacuum. Do all of these things backwards while you vacuum. <laughs> and and uh, ladies and gentlemen, it comes with a warranty. A warranty. Stop it. Ratings, the people at Sleazy Home Appliances are not going to like this. Fix it! Not my fault, this vacuum is heavy and I'm not even a multitasker. No one wants to do this while they're vacuuming, anyways. I could say you're very busy. They need to be able to accomplish many things at once. Look at the time. Stop it, stop it, all of you. Arguing amongst yourselves isn't going to stop anything. <sighs> Cut to Alice, please. Cut to Alice! That may have been the funniest skit that we've seen all night. Let's give it up for the people at Sleazy Home Appliances for filling our evening together with laughter. What a thoughtful bunch they are at Sleazy Home Appliances. Can I get all our wonderful performers out on stage, please? Our show show's almost done for the evening, but while we're tuning off, I hope you guys come back next time. We'll see what happens. Good night! Good night! <laughs> Alice, our ratings are going through the roof right now. One episode in, and everyone is talking about the spunky new girl with the fresh personality who filled in for Reed Pete. If we keep this up, we will have more nightly viewers than American Bandstand. Take that, American Bandstand. Wow, thanks. Great show tonight, Alice. I sure did have a lot of fun playing something different than the same old, same old. That's great. It was really sounding new and fresh. Glad you had a good time. Hey, Alice. Awesome show tonight. I loved having my moment in the spotlight. Me too. And at least we didn't argue. That's great. I'm so glad you guys are finally getting along. Good, good show, show Alice. Alice. Uh, thanks. Alice, fabulous show tonight. I've seen your show tonight. I'm thinking of making a few changes in the dance. What do you think? Sounds lovely. Can't wait to hear your ideas. I bet it'll be great, you guys. Hey, great show, Alice. It was so much fun to switch up the contortionist number tonight. Yeah, good job, Alice. Ventriloquism can get real boring saying the same thing every night. Thanks for jazzing it up. You're welcome. Hey, where's your dummy? Around here somewhere. Oh, good. This is such a great night. I hope Reed's okay, though. Over there. He's a gentleman by the name of Lucas. I'm sure he'll remember me. Okay, I'm just worried. I want to make
make sure that Reed's okay. Look, he's just over there. Let's speak with him, shall we? Lucas, hello, it's Molly. Molly, how you doing? I'm doing well. Lucas, this is my roommate Sally. Sally, this is Lucas. Hello, I was wondering if I could see Reed. I'm just such a big fan, an admirer of his. Nope, it's my job to keep girls like you out of his way. Not the most exciting job, but you know, it pays to bills. Oh please, Lucas, she just wants to make sure he's alive as well. No. Please, Lucas, five minutes, please. Well, all right. Molly, use a good friend. Consider this a favor. Oh, thank you, Lucas. Just don't go asking around for no more favors. You only get one favor from Lucas, just one. He'll be right out. Well, hello there. Good to see you again. Oh my gosh, Reed Pete, you are perfect! Oh my gosh, Reed Pete, you are perfect! Do you remember me? I used to be a candy girl. Do you remember me? I used to be a candy girl. <laughs> it's no right. He's acting strange. Yeah, he's been acting like that ever since that hypnotist been on the show. Really? Would I lie? Are you all right? Are you all right? Molly, maybe we should go. I agree. Reed, I'm your number one fan! Reed, I'm your number one fan! Come on, Sally, we need to talk.
stuck repeating everyone. So you've been stuck repeating everyone. Well, hopefully you've learned something from it. Well, hopefully you've learned something from it. Reed, I'm going to unhypnotize you now. Look at me. Trust me. Reed, I'm going to unhypnotize you now. Look at me. Trust me. Now repeat after me. Not that you have a choice. Now repeat after me. Not that you have a choice. I 
I'm not alone. I am not alone. There are people who care about me. There are people who care about me. I just need to look at life differently and I'll see them. I just need to look at life differently and I'll see them. Reed? Yes? Are you feeling better? I can speak for myself again. Yes, you can. I think you might have a lot to think about, but I think you should think about them al alone at this point. You've been through quite an experience. You have a lot to think about. Yes, I do. Well, I think my work here is done. Well, I can speak for myself again, but I don't feel much different. Everything's still the same. Maybe this show isn't for me anymore. I've been doing it for so long, I thought it was all I could do. But maybe it's not. I could be anyone. I could do anything. I don't want to repeat the same thing every night. I'm Reed Pete, and I'm free of this routine. Reed? Are you okay? I'm better than okay. Oh, thank goodness, you've been such an inspiration to me, and it's, it just scared me so much to see you all mixed up, stuck in whatever you were stuck in. I'm just so glad that you're back. Me too. You're Sally, right? Yeah! Mm -hmm. My <laughs> I remember meeting you. I just couldn't say anything. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm Sally Hansen. Once again, your number one fan. Great to meet you. Sally, can you help me round up the cast and crew? I have an important announcement to make. Tomorrow's show will be my last. night for television, ladies and gentlemen. It is the end of an era. Tonight will be my last show. And I just want to say, what an honor it has been to know all of you and perform alongside you over the years. television for 30 years and if you ask me that's a major accomplishment. I've known Reed for 10 years and although there have been some rough times where I've really wanted to quit, I stuck it out and I'm glad I did. We'll be making some changes to the show. We will forever be grateful for the foundation that Reed has built when he first created Reed in the Evening. Thank you Alice. Over the last 30 years I've met some amazing people who I will never forget. People who have really changed my life for the better. And I'm not regretting the choice to retire. I'm not sad, mainly because I know how incredible the show will be with Alice hosting. Alice, I just hope you found a good assistant for yourself because I don't know what I would have done without you. Actually, Fran, can you come out here, please? I'd like to officially announce that I'm hiring Fran as my new assistant. Couldn't think of a better woman for the job. Me neither. <laughs> Our show's almost coming to a close, ladies and gentlemen, but we have one more act for you, and I think you'll like it. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, pop, country, and occasionally rock and roll have graced the stage here at, here at Read in the Evening. But tonight, I would like to introduce a performer who works in a beautiful genre that has been tragically overlooked. Miss Molly Bird has appeared on our stage before as a candy girl. Hello! But her role as a candy girl did not allow her to fully share her tremendous talent with our cast, crew, and or thousand of viewers. Tonight, it is with great pleasure that I announce your, you, Miss Bolly Bird, Bird, singing This Is Now from Carp the Arm. That's my friend!
Thank you, Molly. Good night, everyone. Good night, America!